So, y'all, let's deal with Adele real quick. Motherfuckers been sending me this shit, and I wasn't going to say nothing about it, because I really don't give a fuck about Adele wearing Bantu knots and a Jamaican goddamn uh, top, or being at some festival and goddamn, you know. I don't give a fuck, but here's what I saw. I saw Jamaicans and Africans coming out here trying to insult, you know, black Americans, still three K's, you know, regardless, trying to insult black folk. Like black folk was making a big deal out of what the fuck Adele was doing and what she was wearing. And you really motherfuckers was really just clowning her motherfucking ass because she looked like a meth head. Uh, they got her hair done by another meth head and was standing out just doing meth head shit. <laughs> standing around doing meth head shit. So, motherfuckers got on her a little bit. But then the Jamaicans came. They came to defend Adele. Now, we've talked about this before where there will be these caves be in situations where they're not in danger, but somehow some black folk want to come throw on their cape, throw their body on these motherfuckers to cover them and shit. There's some coon ass, some coon ass bullshit be going on if you ask me, right? But these Jamaicans came to insult black people, black people sitting around here trying to think that they can police all cultures and you know, making a big deal out of this shit. Well, nobody making a big deal. Nobody gives a fuck, really. I mean, I, I didn't give a fuck. At all. But they wanted to say that black folk, American black folk ain't got no culture. Like, we just be trying to defend their culture because we don't got no culture. And you know, these motherfuckers get up on their goddamn high horse and I'm here to pull their motherfucking ass down. Have a seat, man. <laughs> Like, have a motherfucking seat. Because they will try to act like that we don't have a culture. Although, Adele herself says she's been influenced by this culture. By jazz and blues. That's black American culture. We made that shit. White fuck wasn't fucking with no jazz like that. That was devil music. That's what they called it. Devil music. Them jazz singers be smoking that weed. And they don't want to do shit after they play their goddamn saxophone, smoke some weed, play that devil music and go rape white hoes. That's what they said. That's what they said. But Adele's singing style is that of black American culture, the same culture that everybody claim we don't have. These Jamaicans show up defending Adele when she didn't really need defending. Wasn't nobody really taking this shit that serious. I'm not gonna say everybody, but most black folk ain't really giving a fuck about what she's doing. You know, Bantu knots and all that shit. Then you have motherfuckers in uh, the Africans gonna show up acting like they high and mighty. We got a culture. Y'all act like y'all wasn't colonized or aren't colonized right now. I get tired of motherfuckers acting like we can just run to Africa to escape the white man and his mama. The Jamaicans sitting around acting like they just got this great culture and they not colonized over there. You colonized as fuck. I know you are. In Africa, you colonized and getting colonized right now by the goddamn Asian caves coming to recolonize your motherfucking ass. So why do y'all sit around acting like that's not a real thing? You have black leaders in positions, and just like American so-called black leaders or political leaders, they've been compromised. Same shit. Same shit. But y'all motherfuckers love getting up on y'all's goddamn high horse. All the self-hate y'all motherfuckers got over there in Jamaica. All the self-hate, the skin bleaching. Y'all act like it's a secret that y'all sit around acting like that. The Africans, same thing. Y'all out there, actually, I remember put, reporting a, a story about the Africans over there taking pills so their babies, while they're pregnant women, 
taking pills so their babies can be lighter. I've seen African motherfuckers getting dipped in acid to get their black uh, skin rubbed off to be lighter. What you talking about? Sit your ass down, Umbutu. Sit your stupid ass down. Wearing the same weaves and skin bleaching and doing all the same shit. While y'all motherfuckers want to sit up on your goddamn high horses, acting like black folk ain't got no culture. Nobody gave a fuck about Adele and what she was doing. And you Jamaican motherfuckers came out here to defend her. Black folk need to, black American folk need to sit down. We, we celebrating this. Then keep celebrating it, motherfucker. Keep celebrating it. But stop running around taking every opportunity that you can to insult black Americans. Not going to keep letting you do it. Not saying that all y'all doing it. But it's a lot of you motherfuckers that do it. Y'all act real, real bold with your little accent. Like you different or some shit. You're not. You're not any different. Y'all got motherfucking coons running all over the place. The same as everybody else. Coons running all over the motherfucking place. I'm not going to let y'all do it. I don't give a fuck about what Adele was doing. At all. Could give a fuck less. What she was doing. People were clowning her motherfucking ass. Looking all methy. That's it. But y'all found the opportunity to come out here to insult our American, black American culture like y'all always do. We don't have a culture, but she didn't say she was influenced by any Jamaican culture, even though she uh, apparently she'd be at some carnival over there, Notting Hill or wherever the fuck, Tottingham or whatever, whatever the fuck people was talking about. She got all her her singing uh, vibe, her singing juice. She got that from black American culture. Yeah, not from y'all. Because as y'all claim we don't have culture, the entire uh, American fabric is built in our culture. We are the rhythm and motherfucking blues over here. We're both things. We're everything. Just is what it is. We've been great like that. Regardless. And when they was trying to shut down the the jazz and shut down the blues music we kept moving we've been fighting the white man and his mama so you bitch motherfuckers could come over here and snare your nose up at us no no i can't let y'all do it and sometimes i gotta come in here and check you motherfuckers because y'all got this idea about africa this idea about other black cultures spread across the world and it's arrogant. You have an entire fucking continent in Africa, mostly black, y'all still being colonized. Don't have an army that's a superpower to do anything. Now, I'm not saying that some of the racism that we have over here in America, it's a little different. But y'all be getting real high up on y'all's motherfucking I don't, I don't understand where the arrogance comes from. Y'all are mostly black folk over there. The largest concentration of black people in the world is in Africa. And y'all still let these motherfucking colonizers, outside influences come in there and, and rape the whole continent. That's the reality. That's just how it is. You Jamaican motherfuckers, sit your stupid ass down somewhere. Sit down. Coming to defend this white woman or deciding to attack uh, black Americans over Adele? Like, are y'all motherfuckers serious? Like, y'all ain't cooning heavy over there? Cause you got a little accent? An accent that even Chet Hanks can run around here using the accent and y'all think that that shit is cool y'all cool with that shit be cool with it that's that's cool but that don't mean you get to come in here and insult black americans nah you don't get to do that because i know you i know you i know you're cooning man <laughs> i know you're cooning heavy with the cooning over that motherfucker like stop cut it out but some of y'all saw the picture. Y'all comment and let me know what the fuck y'all saw, man. 
I figured I had to come in here and just do a little check. Like, yeah, I'm, 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 like, like I'm check, 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 checking the mic. Like, check, check, check. Like, y'all cooning, though. Y'all been cooning, stay cooning at all times. Even in a black fucking continent, on a black continent, y'all still be over there cooning. Still cooning. Don't nobody give a fuck about the Bantu Knots. No one cares, really. We was just laughing her motherfucking ass out a little bit. Now, I didn't laugh her out. I just didn't give a fuck. I'm indifferent. I could give a fuck less. But black folk wasn't making it that heavy, yo. Ain't nobody cancel Adele or nothing like that. Y'all made it into a more heavier thing than black folk did, from what I noticed anyway. But y'all let me know what the fuck y'all thought. Did y'all notice this? Did y'all recognize these Jamaicans and Africans gonna come over and start opening their goddamn mouth all over Twitter and Instagram and shit like... Y'all need to sit y'all motherfucking asses down and figure your shit out. How do you have an entire continent? How you, a Jamaican, which is mostly black folk, getting still being colonized and ran and robbed and, like, explain your motherfucking self. Instead of the goddamn sitting around acting like black Americans, we don't got no damn culture. And we extra. We have a culture that is inspired all types of greatness all over the world so y'all like share subscribe hit the notification bell links to follow me on social media in the description box black first second and third and i fuck with you if you're not a coon from jamaica i fuck with you if you're not a coon from africa but if you're a motherfucking coon then fuck you fuck what you're talking about Fuck you coming out here defending the motherfucking caves. Like, you don't get no goddamn pass for that shit. You gonna try to insult us to do it? Fuck you. You're not my motherfucking friend. We, we, we're not on teams. Because your mentality is problematic. And you against me just like motherfucking the white man and his motherfucking mama. Shout out Team Rob. Y'all already know what the fuck it is. I'm out.